system. It's open source, which is nice. Looks like it has a, a DSL for defining things, and it is based on Zanzibar. Dude, Zanzibar is so cool. Yeah, I'm aware of like a couple other companies in this space. Uh, I even I interviewed at Offset even at one point. Yeah, very cool. Like Zanzibar is really interesting. So yeah, if you want to read up on it, it's basically what they use for their permission system for like Google Docs, etc. So it's like an eventually consistent like permission store, right? Because you're going to have various things where it's like a chain of permissions being in. I, I know very little about it, but it seems really cool. So yeah, instead of just our back, it's reback, right? relationship-based authorization, I think, or something like that. So it actually supports all of it. Never mind. Okay. So yeah, it's like flexible enough for you to just use. Yeah, I wonder what their pricing is. Ooh, and they even have like a what is Zanzibar like document. Nice. What's their pricing like? That is somewhat hefty. So you end up paying for monthly active users at 10,000, that's two grand a month, which is somewhat spendy, but hopefully if you've got 10,000 mon monthly active users, it's not that scary of a bill. I would love to try out the free tier, right? Just the open source part. And I guess a big part of this is that this type of permissions is something that you hit with every request, you know? So it's going to be a process that involves a lot of calls out to their servers, right? The infrastructure for that, I really wonder how much, like, how much they're adding on top. Hmm commercial license. So does that mean you're not allowed to use the open source commercially? Interesting. I mean, let's go look at it. I don't know what set that, sure. Let's go look at it on GitHub, see what it's made with. It's an Apache license, so nah, you should be totally free to do commercial stuff with it then. it built with yeah yeah you definitely have to self-host it um i guess that's the interesting thing though if it's go code could you just throw this into a lambda and call it good No, because, right, Docker Compose, you're going to have state that you need to store to. So you'd have to put in some work to split out the storage mechanism from, like, the, the call mechanism, which is totally doable.
Okay. You could theoretically do that. But then you're dealing with scale. Yeah, I wonder what, like, the, the cost of running this and what kind of, like, uh, performance you could see from it. There is something really scary about your permission system being a single node, like a single point of failure. And, you know, that's what you're paying them for, right? You're paying them on their cloud tier to make sure this stuff never goes down. But yeah, Zanzibar is, yeah, really interesting to me. Yeah, I want to see what it would be like spinning it up. Yeah, that would be, I think, some fun content, too. Now, let's go back to their site. I didn't fiddle with the pricing enough, right? With a thousand monthly active users, that's pretty solid. We have zero, it's zero dollars. We have one, oh, they only go in increments of a hundred. So, no matter what, you're only going to pay for active users. That's actually kind of reason. Right? So, yeah, it's 20 cents per monthly active user. Yeah, I... Well, hold on. The 10k users, right, puts you up to get-in-touch material. But it's two grand a month, basically. And theoretically, you could start doing volume discounts once you get big enough. Yeah, there's a slider. Like, that's what I'm fiddling with. So they had a thousand set there, and that's 200 bucks a month, right? 10,000, two grand a month. At 10,000 monthly active users, though, you should be making more than two grand a month, though, right? With a legitimate product. So I think that makes sense. Yeah, and really, once you're on, like, the paid tier, you're getting, like, a service level agreement automatically, right? That's pretty huge. Right? In many cases, you have to spend way more to get an SLA in place. So that's pretty cool, too. They've got a playground where we could mess with it. And yeah, here's the big thing. I'm going to want to do something very similar. As like, you know, that diagram they had. I'm going to want to do organizational roles and some of that stuff. Yeah, for Walter, I actually want to do something Zanzibar based. I think that would be huge. Now, I think this is their own schema, right? Oh, this is a cool little playground.
But yeah. Yeah, I like this. This is nifty. Like, we're a little zoomed in on it, just so you guys can read it, so we're messing up some of their layout. Yeah, yeah, pretty nifty. Oh. What I'm curious about is like, how often are you gonna wanna go back to the top level playground from here? Versus just wanting to go back to like Permify after messing around with the playground. That's like an interesting user experience thing for me. Like, I'm in the playground, where am I navigating to? Right? It's like a single page application, right? But I could see like, yeah, maybe you wanted to do that to reset things. Yeah, I don't know. But, does seem cool. UI seems pretty slick. I would actually love to try like self-hosting this and see like, maybe even do some benchmarking see how many like requests per second we could realistically handle.